Hey folks, and welcome back to some Nightingale. Today we're going to be doing the first breakdown video from the IGN FanFest event that happened a few days ago. During this event, we got to see some really cool showcases for the game. Today's video is going to focus on all the weapons we've seen so far for Nightingale, including mostly the IGN FanFest ones that got revealed, and those we've seen from trailers and concept art. Now to do this properly, I'd like to separate the weapons by category. I'm by no means a weapon expert, especially when it comes to guns, so I wouldn't be able to give you exact names for each and every one of these choices, let alone most of them. Some of these might also involve guessing due to blurry or pixelated photos, but we'll do our best. The first category weapon spotted during the IGN FanFest are the rifles, and the very first one we see looks exactly like what you'd expect a sniper rifle to look like from this time period. This seems to actually be a new reveal, but keep in mind that some of these weapons may not be available when we first jump into early access, but I really like the look of this one nonetheless. This could be amazing for providing overwatch for your teammates, or tracking down even some of the most dangerous wildlife like the elusive harpies. Personally, I would not mind having to put a bullet in one of these bastards before they have a chance to steal my stuff from my base. Following this, we had the rest of the rifles, which seem to be varying in different design and modification. There's at least one more that I've spotted in there with the scope, but the rest seem to be more tailored to mid-range combat. The next category right below seems to be resembling sawed-off shotguns and revolvers. However, I do see one in there that appears to be resembling a crossbow. I really do hope this is the case because crossbows have always been some of my favorite weapons in survival games. We then have ourselves some full-blown shotguns and I have spotted what appears to be a blunderbuss in there. I'm just hoping that we'll see some more variation on the melee side as we do the ranged, but it definitely seems like Nightingale is a more gun specialized game instead of melee. Just underneath that we've got another class of weapons, it looks like these ones are going to be very pistol based, and I'm seeing over 15 variations of said pistol. The amount of variety we get in these different weapon types is extremely impressive. Normally in games, especially in the survival sandbox genre, we would only see at most maybe 3 or 4 different types of ranged weapons and that's it. But in this one, we've got over 8 different types of rifles, 10 different types of sawed off shotguns and revolvers along with the potential crossbow, 6 different types of shotguns with this also being something I can't quite make out but I assume to be a modification, and 15 different pistols. Keep in mind that we're also going to be getting access to melee and magic in this game, so this doesn't even scratch the surface. Speaking of magic though, as far as that goes, I wasn't able to make out any definitive teases for it, but I did see a couple that looked like they might be showcasing it. The first one is on the bottom right here, and this is where the character is wielding a cane. This character appears to be something I'd probably qualify as magic wielding, but of course this could very well just be his walking stick. The second one is right beside him, and this looks like it could even be a spear, but just the effect it's giving off appears to be one of a magical sort. They have confirmed already that we will be getting magic, but they haven't really told us how it will work or what it will be used for. But I'm kinda hoping for a system similar to an older survival sandbox called Citadel Forge with Fire. This is one where we could actually craft our own magic and use it not only for offense and defense, but utility. But moving on, let's talk about the melee. The easiest ones to start with would be the ones we've seen in the trailer. The first one comes from this woman that walks through a portal, and she seems to have a pickaxe on her back that we could potentially use for gathering or combat. Following that we also have an axe that seems to be two-handed, which we can see in first person and in third person on multiple characters. We next have a shovel that's showcased in multiple parts of the trailer. I originally assumed that these might just be used primarily for gathering just like the pickaxe, but more and more I'm starting to feel that we'll actually be able to use them for combat. And lastly, from the trailer side, we have the two-handed hammer. This is showcased in the very last shot on the right, and just by the looks of it I can only assume that this will end up being a very powerful weapon. Potentially one we'll be using for heavily armored creatures, but probably also for gathering stone. As for the concept art, we don't really have any real concrete melee weapon reveals, but I did spot one that appears to be a spear, alongside the one we talked about before, and there's also a couple that look like we might be getting access to one-handed daggers or small one-handed weapons. So far though, that's the majority of weapon reveals we got for Nightingale, but one last hidden one I wanted to quickly point out. During the IGN FanFest, one of the first new clips they show us is a look at a developer running through a settlement. It just so happens that base turrets are showcased if you look close enough. It took me a couple times to notice it and I had to zoom in, but it does look like we will get these. Which does make perfect sense because the bound alongside other creatures will be attacking our base periodically, but there might also be even more player versus environment type events we can use them for. But with that, thank you guys very much for watching, have a wonderful night or day, and farewell.
着。